Hey yo, coming to you from outside Boro Art Supply. I'm waiting here for my boy Bowser to come meet up with me and then we're gonna go shop for some glass, get some raw material. There's a couple things that I've been needing for a week or two now and some standard things that I gotta restock. Gonna get some material, talk to the people here, maybe see Ghostwood Glass, give her a little prep that I brought and then Bowser and I are gonna go fishing. So I FaceTimed Bowser earlier seeing if he wanted to make a piece and they're out of oxygen until Friday, so he's not working today. So I told him, well, I'm deciding whether to work on something or go fishing. And he lit up. He said, I've never been fishing before. And I was like, you know what, boy? I got a second pole with your name on it. Now, I didn't say it like that, but I told him I have a second pole and that I'm going to make him catch a fish today. We're going to get Bowser Glass on a fish. Mark my words. So first, raw material at Boro Glass Supply. And then Bowser should be here. We'll go fishing. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Stay focused. While we're waiting, though, I thought I'd show you guys my tackle box and maybe what I'm going to throw today. We're going to be going for smallmouth on the Willamette, so I'm thinking what I'll get after today is probably this guy. Also, got this deep diver. I don't like throwing these, though, because they get hung up a lot. Uh, my favorite currently that's missing one of the hooks see one of the back hooks is missing a hook this is my sexy shad popper this one's been catching me hella fish this season i love throwing poppers top water is super fun i got this classic rattle trap i don't know if i'll throw that today oh and i've been meaning to try this guy maybe this is my bait of the day look at this fancy one it swishes and sways like crazy a big old hook Honestly, I might throw this today. I like throwing crawdad colored stuff. And then what I'm going to hook up Bowser with is probably this little baby trap. Little buzz bait here, another rattle trap. And then I'm big on the soft plastics, especially Gary Yamamoto. So I got these double tail grubs. These ones will catch up pretty good. They get hung up a little bit with the jig head that I use for them, but other than that, good fish catchers. I just stocked up on some stuff today actually. Got a little case for a lure or two for my preem bag because that's what I'd be using to carry around everything. Got more Senkos. These are my go-to bait guys. If you haven't thrown these but you like bass fishing, you gotta check these out. I also got some four inch ones to try out. Actually, now that I think about it, a four inch Senko could be pretty good today to throw on the river. Got some swim baits. I haven't caught anything on these, but I haven't really thrown them much. The tails get messed up with the heat. Three inch Senkos. These ones go crazy. Oh, and another trap. This is focus problems. I got fishing hook stuck in my Supreme bag. So I gotta pry this out with this. So here we are at Boro Art Supply. Showing you guys the greasy glass section. Greasy makes some of my favorite color out of all the companies. They got such cool tones. See what I end up getting today. This is Boro's new location. They moved like a couple miles away from their original shop. Now they've got a big warehouse, tall ceilings big selection of raw material like colored glass and clear glass they got the shades for you they got some cool line tubing for everyone who does wig wags and stuff I'm not sure if you guys have seen the ins and outs of like buying raw material but there's many different ways to go about it and basically you just grab some stuff here and start melting shout out to Shrek Back in the minivan, got what I needed from Boro. Show you guys a brief look. I got some dark colors, like dark purple, and then my dark blue that I use a lot that has the striking surface that I engrave on. And then kryptonite, which is a nice green. And I think another purple, and then a dark blue. So keeping it dark with the colors, and I found some really good deals. So shout out to Boro Art Supply. Love you guys. Appreciate all the help and supplies that you guys have given me over the years. Now, starting up the minivan and 
Bowser had a little misunderstanding. He thought I was going to meet him somewhere else than I did. So now we're off to find Bowser at the fishing spot. Here, put him on a fish. Let's go. Wanted to give you guys a little look at this section that I'm about to hand off to Bowser. Just hit Boro, about to do some fishing, I'll put you up on game. I'm going to show you what you need, what we're going to do. We ready. Alright Bowser, before you lock up, you have to have this and make something crazy with it. Dude, perfect bro. Let's get after exactly. it. We're going to do this. Let's get it. The crucial spot here. Dude, we got good dinner tonight boys. We eating good. Uh, that's a sturgeon head. You know what sturgeon is? Uh, I'm guessing it's a big fish. Yeah, it's like the big gray freshwater fish that have cartilage and they're like look like ancient dinosaurs kind of. Oh, yep, yep. Yep, that's one of those heads. I've never actually seen one in person like that though. That's kind of gnarly. Damn. All right, guys. They do. They go all kinds of places. So we're looking for a little way down here because right down here there's some riprap rock and some dock structure as you can see. Some things where smallmouth bass might be hiding now. Here's out. Bowser Glass. He lost his first fish. I lost it, but. He hooked one before me, guys, and he brought it in. He botched it. All right, so this is going to be the cast. You're going to get it on film right here. Pretty on point. Doesn't hurt to cast along the shore, too. Yeah, you can just kind of cast parallel to the shore in some ways. He's bringing it in. How are these fish going to possibly resist this? A nice rattle trap. We need a straddle lure. You're not even in the water, player. You gotta like let it sink, or what that means is it might have gotten tangled. Man, you just want that thing to be buzzing. What got tangled? Sorry. It could be tangled around the. Let's go. Bowser caught his first fish. Let's fucking go, dude. What a giant! You out here catching fish. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> he was like, can't let Bowser fucking catch all these fish, dude. Big fish. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Lamb River Smalley. Couldn't let Bowser take the title today. There's still time. Beautiful fish. Unless you just want to leave Junker. the winner. Let's see. Fuck yeah, dude. There he goes. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> A little perch for the vlog, I guess. I've never caught a perch here before. Bowser Glass in his natural habitat coming upon this last cast before we move spots. And he nails it. Will he land a fish? We're witnessing sailing lessons right now. The whistle, that's why they're not biting. All right, yeah, that's totally it. All right, we're going on to the next spot. We're gonna walk along the bank a little bit past this dog that's playing in the water and catch some more fish. We stopped getting bites, so I switched up to a little three inch wacky Senko. How you doing, Bowser? Doing good, bro. You about to catch a big one in this next spot? Yeah, I think so. I think I, I'm gonna try to like discreetly take a piss in these trees. <laughs> All right. Vlog update. Caught a nice one. Little chunker. Probably 12 incher. What do you think? Is that a 
Five dollar foot long. Whew. At least. Let's go. Maybe eleven point eight. <laughs> Wacky rig paying off. These fish are so beautiful. Let's go. up to this little classic rattle trap second cast caught a two pounder one and a half or two super fun fight molly's fight so good so <laughs> beautiful let's go bowser you got you got some catching up to do baby oh no dude did your bag just go in the water no oh dude it just splashed dude i thought your bag went in <laughs> that would make a good vlog Another one on the rattle trap. Dude, you're fucking racking them up, bro. Yep. How many is that? Fatty. It's probably five. Maybe like four if you like don't count the little one. Where you at, bro? Two dinks? Two dinks. Two dinks. Two dinks. No, I'm just giving him shit. I'm having a fun time out here with my boy Bowser. Catching him good. Woo! How the hell did you do this, man? It's tangle tech, dude. Somehow, Bowser got his shit tangled around the reel. That's how we do it. We got the lure, though, so we're happy. Now we just gotta get this untangled. And you know what? The sun's going down on this beautiful Willamette River evening. We're not even that far from downtown, guys. Look, it's the Portland Spirit. Do you know the boat, the Portland Spirit? It's out there right now. No, I don't know the boat. Tell me about it. As we speak, there's people out there who are over 80 years old, probably enjoying dinner. And Dude, they probably... Might be the last one. Oh! Yeah, we've been catching them good today. Yeah. We're going to head up this little path here, untangle this shit, and get walking back. Look at those nice apartments, though. Damn. Ri nice riverfront view. Ah, it's on the river, dude. Yeah. Look at that majestic boat go. It is majestic. What do you think they're having for dinner? Fish? Caddy wampus. What do you think? I think they're probably having a uh, bone-in ribeye steak and so, dude. and and yeah and and mashed potatoes with some flavorless gravy and mashed then mashed potatoes for sure. I don't know. Do they put the steak in like a blender before they serve it? I mean, maybe we should cop tickets. I'm down. What if we went on and just fished off the back? That would become my kind of jam. How much does it cost, do you think, to, to have dinner on the... Little you know, I bet it's something like... I bet it's something like... You commit to having five people, because usually you're going to be the grand grandma or grandpa in the family if you're trying to go out on a boat cruise for dinner. Sure. Uh, so you probably... I bet they make you do five or ten people, and then it's like 40 to $80 a head. Okay. It's not like super cheap, but it's like, uh, what if, what if you, like, set something up to where you have, like, a like, you get the whole thing shut down, like, no old people for the night? What? 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 That'd be pretty sick. That'd be pretty lit, especially if you didn't tell them, and you just brought out rigs. Dude, that would be even sicker, honestly, but really, what would probably be the sickest is if you play, like, fuck the little next year, and you know, that would be pretty good. Yeah. River dinner. Man, it's got a nice ring to it. Doesn't it? Let's put a pin in that. It really rolls off its tongue. Heavy river dinner. Heavy, head, head, heady river dinner. HRD. What do you guys think is in this? Fire. 
Yeah. It looks pretty sus. I think it's Yeah. I think it's probably body parts. It's not kind. Hey, fun fact. Uh, my old fishing buddy found a body on the Willamette River. Oh, Yeah. Yeah. That's actually not right. He's dead ass found a body. <laughs> Get a dead ass. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe if you guys think we should have Bowser on Corny Dad's podcast. What do you think? You want to hear more from this fuck? He's pretty cool. All right, we're almost up here. Ooh, we gotta do some sketchy shit. I know, right? It's so much less stressful. Yeah. <clears throat> we probably just walk like probably almost a mile on gravel, like not gravel, like a uh, riprap boulders. Yeah. Fucking busting ankles. Cause that's where Catching the fish dinks. Be. Dink Squad. Actually, I'm not a part of Dink Squad, unfortunately. Nah, yeah. he's fucking yeah, Girthy sorry. Boy Squad, dude. Yeah, all my fish come with a girth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> girth certificate, bro? <laughs> Certified. Have you, uh, uh, I know you have the dolphin, but do you have any other heady, like, fish in the Focus universe? Yeah, dog. Look at the... Oh, nice. Beat the bass, yeah. Got the bass. Okay, that was what I was wondering. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know. Because I know you love the, the fish. Of course, of course there has to be. So that's another one. I mean, the dolphin's kind of like a less technical image, but it definitely counts as like focus fish. Sure, sure. Yeah. The other one that comes to mind, though, is the bluegill two trill. Bluegill two trill. You might know from 2014, hat pins and posters. Damn. And I don't think he ever made it to a t-shirt, but shout out my boy, bluegill two trill. That one dropped. Eight years ago. That's wild. Yeah, I, I wasn't even... I was still in high school and shit. Was, Just a baby. I was out of the scene. Yo, look at these apartments, though. They're pretty dope. Yeah. Just have a nice, like, back porch looking out. How, how much do you think these are? Well, that's a good question. I mean, like, if you look at that middle one that my rod's kind of pointing at right here, like, the middle of the three stories... Yeah. We're talking a big porch, man. Dude, yeah. That's a big porch. I want to say we gotta stay on the right. It's a nice pad. I want to say that's a condo. That's probably like. See, the problem is that it's probably all like legacy properties that people have owned for like ever. But I mean, easily like probably like eight grand a month, dude. If you wanted, like, yeah. if that's a, is a condo, don't you be tipping the rod. You keep your tip up. Yeah, I know. Tips up. But I don't really know what it even is. Like, it looks crazy. Oh, yeah, the modern look. All right, guys. So I caught one cast in, like, right out there where my rod tip's pointing. And then if you saw in the vlog, I had my lure again. Or, like, the line was against the rock. And I was like, oh, shit, that's not good. Next cast, pretty sure I hooked one, and it just broke off. So I lost that As beautiful. We discussing breaking... <sighs> lures off on rocks when uh, it happened. Yeah, freaking beautiful uh, crawdad colored rattle trap. It's okay, another will be mine soon. I might actually stop and get some new line because this thing has been kind of like pissing me off. I've been like breaking this line a lot for some reason. It's not supposed to happen. Well, that. There's a boat down there called the Linebacker. For all you football fans. Right? Can you imagine boat shopping and get it like <laughs> just not finding the right one for months on end and just seeing linebacker written across the back <laughs> of the boat and being like, that's the fucking one. This is it. I'm about to crash this thing into people. Oh my god. Yeah. Linebacker. Yo, they probably got a pool up there. It has to be. Or like a terrace. Just sit out and have a panini on that. Panini in the pool? <laughs> Made it back to the cars. Ooh, unfocused. Back to, back to the car, back to the throttle. Back to the throttle. Hey, oh shoot, I gotta answer this real quick. Yo, hello, Focus Gang. This is your Western Regional Throttle Gang representative here today to tell you all about the most groundbreaking scientific and artistic revolution of the 21st century and any century before and or after that. Um, we're getting in here to the uh, Strottmobile to grab a Strottle here and show you guys what it's all about. So, this here is the ori original trod, traditional style Strottle. It's a straw bottle, straw bottle, instead of the regular banger, this is a fixed glass straw 
that you uh, just put the concentrate like right onto and and it's the best thing the world's ever seen and I can give you guys a little demonstration right now if you'd like so when you're regular dabbing style it's like you know you got to carry around the q-tips and the carb cap and wait for it to cool down and stuff and it's just none of that bullshit with this it's like uh, designed with the GDE technology um, groundbreaking dabbing efficiency technology um, yeah it's like the best thing the world's ever seen. You're gonna take a dab? Oh, yeah, yeah. Take a straddle dab? Yeah. Let's go. What version is this? The, I was telling them this is, this is a traditional trod straddle. This is the original design, uh, and that it's a straw get bottle. Some good quality footage, man. I know. Put the hand behind it. It's honestly really hard. There we go. Look at that beauty. Wow. Exactly, exactly. And there's even other models as well. There's heady straddles. And these are all one of one, guys. This is uh, something that you'll never see again or have seen before. It's it's truly uh, groundbreaking technology. Like this video and leave a comment. And say we need a focus straddle. If you guys want to see a focus straddle, absolutely. Gonna need you guys to run it up. So get to it. So. Vlogging will definitely reduce your straddling time, but the best thing about a straddle is like it's a full spectrum dab, you know what I mean? Not in the full sense of the spectrum of like the U of the, the hash itself, but in the heat spectrum because it starts hot, but it cools so rapidly that it gives you that like punch from a little bit of a spicy dab and then ends on a terpy note. So the biology of it really accentuates the fluidity, which in turn makes your experience a conundrum. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, absolutely. Dude. Wow. For such a scientific guy, I wish you guys could see the torch he's using. <laughs> he's using a, a crackhead torch. Or I mean, a bleep bleep, a bleep bleep bleep. A bleep bleep torch, yeah. So I think if you don't put bad things at the beginning of the video, then it's it's okay. But if you open with a straddle dab, yeah. you're, you're gonna get it. This is a closer. Yeah, this is a closer. Oh, I'm getting the, the tain in the face from the wind. <laughs> Here we go, guys. This is for our continued pursuit of art and science. Oh, wow. <laughs> Smells great. <laughs> Tastes like a dream come true. <laughs> Tastes like a fish in the fucking water that is now on your lure. It tastes like a four inch fish, guys, because that's all he knows about caching. That's his point of reference. Four inches is better than three. On that note, hang with my boy Bowser. That was awesome, Ben. Dude, thanks a lot for fucking taking oh, yeah. me fishing, dude. Hell yeah. For real, that was sick. Super fun. We gotta go again. Look forward to awesome stuff from Bowser Glass. Go follow him on Instagram. Yeah. Tell him to start vlogging. Let's do it. Love you guys. Stay focused.